Hi there. In this chapter of Reading 101, I'm going to talk about the organ stops and the knee levers. When I first started to play the reed organ, I didn't know what stop did what, so I always pulled them all and blasted away. I've learned differently since then, and maybe this little reed organ registration tutorial may be of some help if you are not sure on how these things work and you would like some different ideas on how to use them. On many one manual reed organs with stops, like this one, the keyboard is split into two sections, the bass side and the treble side. The position of where the keyboard divides can differ between different organ builders and the amount of keys that your reed organ has. First, let's find the split. On the bass side, open the diapason stop only and find the size of the rank. On this organ, the split is right here on the G sharp. It is very helpful to remember this on your reed organ. Why? If you are playing a piece that you want a solo stop with accompaniment, your notes you are playing on the bass side should remain below the split and the melody remain above the split. This can be flipped around too for added interest. In the bass, stops will often go from the left to the right until you reach the bass coupler. In the treble, it is the opposite. It will go from the right to the left until you reach the treble coupler. Did you notice how the diapason is on the far left of the bass? On the far right, you will find the melodia stop. This will match the same types of reeds controlled by the diapason stop. This is the main foundation of your organ's tone. In many instances, you will be adding to this foundation, but there is no rule for that. In the cases where you will be adding stops, the Vox Celeste on the treble side is a stop often used with the melodia. The Vox Celeste is tuned slightly lower than the other reeds, and when played with the melodia, it creates that warm tremulant sound that is associated only to reed organs. A very common feature on a reed organ is the use of borrowed stops. Listen to the Vox Celeste as I slowly open the stop. Do you hear how the tone changes? When a combined stop is fully open, I call this the parent stop. A borrowed stop will use the same mute and ranks of reeds as its parent stop, but the linkages only lift the mute slightly off the reed cells as you heard when I first opened the Vox Celeste. To help understand what this means, let's look at the linkages, mutes, and reed cells. When you pull a stop, it engages the linkages, which are often found as metal rods and wooden links. These linkages are carefully aligned to push or pull in various ways to engage the sound or effect you selected by lifting a mute, opening a valve, or activating another mechanical assembly. In this instance, I selected the piccolo stop. The mute pictured here is lifted from the reed cells, allowing the air to be sucked in and to make the reed vibrate. The Vox Celeste is opened here, but on this organ, it has a stop borrowed from that same rank. When I pull this stop, it pulls the same mute, but only part way, shown here. This limits the amount of air to be sucked in and changes the tone of the reed. It is a little trick that the reed organ builders used that cannot be used on a pipe organ. You can easily find borrowed stops on your organ. Just pull out all the stops and then lightly push each one. If you feel no resistance from the linkage, that is a borrowed stop. It is good to know which stops are borrowed on your organ because sometimes you will just be wasting your efforts pulling a stop that has already been engaged. The times where you would leave the borrowed stop open with the parent stop would be when you are looking for more of a dynamic effect. For example, I have been playing a piece that was at a forte and I wanted it much softer on the next phrase. When the hand position in the music allows, I can close the parent stop and any other stops and leave the borrowed stop open. To expand the tone that your organ already has, 
use the treble and bass couplers. Use them with individual solo stops, soft stops, or full organ. When you pull the coupler, it engages a mechanical linkage to press the sticker, or pitman, under the keys an octave higher in the treble and an octave lower in the bass. I find that the people who are not familiar with tracker organs are often most impressed with this feature as the keys seem to magically move, so be sure to show it off as they watch and listen to you play. This leaves us with the Forte and the Vox Humana, but I would like to cover these in a future chapter, as the Vox Humana is the most problematic, misused, and misunderstood effect stop on the reed organ. The Forte is usually the last part to ever break down or to be used properly on a reed organ. It is very simple, but it does have its reasons and benefits. If you are just learning about reed organs, I'd suggest to leave these two stops off for now. When you are finished playing, remember to close off all the stops. This will avoid dust or insects entering the reed cells as the mutes will be closed. Also, it will avoid the mutes from twisting or warping from the spring pressure, and the springs on the mutes will retain better strength. Dust is a reed organ's worst enemy, and one speck can silence a reed so anything you can do to help keep dust out will help, and that includes closing the cover when not in use, and have all grill covers intact. Now let's go to the knee swells. If you are one of the lucky ones, the knee swells still have the original identification tabs on them. Here's what you'll often find. A little hole that used to say, swell organ, and grand organ. If yours are missing, the swell is on the right, and the grand organ is on the left. The knee swell lever opens a flap on the swell box, just like an old gramophone, or a pipe organ. All the reeds and mutes are hiding in there until you open it. The further to the right you move the knee lever, the more the flap opens on the swell box and the louder it gets. Combine the swell lever with dynamic pedaling and various registration changes and you will have a dynamic range to surprise many people. The grand organ knee lever is on the left. It is a very helpful tool to pull out all stops without pulling stops. As you slide it to the left, it opens the mutes or any linkages that control the air opening for the sub bass or other ranks depending on your organ. The grand organ should be used only when needed. I myself have a tendency to use it more than I should, but it can be used for more than just activating the full organ. It can also be used to hold some stops open while you make your changes. An example of this, if I were playing with an 8, 4, and 2 foot setting, and I needed just to end on a soft 8, I would open the grand organ as far as my current setting. Then as the opportunity arises to shut off the stops, I can now do it one at a time without the listener noticing. Once all the desired stops are off, I can now release the grand organ and complete my multi-registration change as fast as any thumb or toe piston on a pipe organ. On the next episode of Reading 101, I'm going to talk about playing techniques and how to keep your music sounding clear and clean. Until then, be creative, make music, and have fun. Thanks for watching. Thank you.